my name's uh, Ellen My Nevid. I'm a senior lecturer at um, Glyndor University in theatre, television and performance and I'm directing the Christmas show this year which is Oh What a Lovely War by Joanne Littlewood. Up to your waist in water, up to your eyes in sash. We um, proposed this play to the students and we were quite surprised actually at how they took to it in a positive way because the question I believe around staging this play is why and that's been the question since 19, 1960s when Joanne Littlewood decided to take the play into the theatre workshop in Stratford East in London to workshop the play. really exciting to work on something that's so, it, it means so much especially this year but also in the contemporary landscape of how we think about the war and how things that are happening then are still happening now. I think that people are just going to enjoy how different the show is because it's not a classic musical and it's not like a classic play. I think it's really different and out there and it's really in with the time since it is a hundred years this year since the First World War ended. This lady girl was blown. So usually at this time of the year, um, at Christmas, we present shows which are quite popular and so this is a quite a different style for us and quite a challenge for the students. All students are on stage most of the time, so we're asking for a lot of discipline, um, a lot of variety in the way they look at the, the way that they're performing. So at one moment they could be a stall holder, the next minute they're a clown, and then all of a sudden they're a political figure. So we're really channeling that epic theatre style and that representational style in the show. Uh, with being a level six, we have production world instead, so it's completely different to what we've previously experienced. Now that the new level fours are coming in, we're taking on more responsibility. So me, for example, I'm taking part in the marketing aspect of the production. So that includes creating the posters and creating the different trailer aspects like this. Um, so it kind of brings more responsibility and um, gives you more of an insight onto the professional aspect of putting on a production. Stirred up little Serbia to serve his dirty tricks, but naughty knights at Liège quite upset this dirty dick. I've really enjoyed working with the other years um, during rehearsals. Um, they've taught us quite a lot about new styles of acting as well as being able to get to know them on a personal level. On other courses the separation would be quite big between the years, whereas on this everyone's lumped together for rehearsals so you know everyone gets to know everyone. And it, it makes working together as a team on a production so much easier. When they heard the bulldog bark, they disappeared from sight. The Kaiser said, be careful if by Jellico they're seen. Then every man of war I've got will be a submarine. We chased the ships to turn. My favourite element of the show so far is the choreographing aspect. So, for example, in Your King and Country and in Kaibosh, um, we're using different sticks to create the choreography and I won't spoil it for you but it's very very interesting and dynamic and it creates a really interesting visual um, when we're all on the stage. As well as having a very important message about war and a commemoration, if you like, of World War I, we can also spend that theatrical time with the audience, enjoying and having an entertaining experience. So come along next week to see our show. We open on the 6th of December and we run until the 8th, so you're all welcome. Wasn't with him at the time when Belgium put the kibosh on the Kaiser. Yara took the stick and made him sore. We shall shout the victory's joy. Hold your hand up, naughty boy. You must never play in soldiers anymore.
Sauce Nick.